Guys, Junior with Keystone RV Center back again. And today we're talking about surge protectors. We got them all lined up over here. Got a nice display setting at our store. So power watchdog, we've been talking surge protectors for years. These are the ones we're going with now. This makes a lot of sense. And we're going to go into the different options they make available and why we like them better than the competition. So first and foremost, we've got a simple surge protector. Now, the way this unit is designed to function, I'm going to take this. I'm going to plug my camp, plug this into my campground, leave my camper plug unplugged. And once I got green lights down here showing everything's good, I'll go ahead and run with that. If I have anything else like that, like that, like that, okay, anything other than that, I'm not going to plug in. Once I see that we're good there, I can go ahead and plug in. It's going to act as a natural surge protector. And it is, if you want, does have an app as well that I can go into, bring up this guy, and we're going to go to the one that says safety only, because that's all it's doing. It's just a surge protector. And it's going to tell me the voltage and stuff that's going on there. And if I kill my power to it, up, oh, it doesn't know what's going on. I turn my power back on, comes right back up. So that's a great entry level unit. Again, everything's available in 30 or 50 amp. So now let's come over here. Let's talk about the big boy. And we're going to go to find device. We're going to go to display plug because that's the big boy here. Now, this one's going to do surge, of course, but it's also then going to protect against brownouts and blackouts, everything that could go sideways with your camper. This is going to protect you on and still give you that running display on what's going on. Now, if we do lose a leg, boom, notifications right to my phone tells me that I got a missing ground. Keep in mind, you have no idea who wired the campsite before you just plugged your brand new camper in. So that's why I do really like those. Now, what's the difference between these two? Simple, this one doesn't have the little thingy coming up here or down here, that's what's different. No, really, kind of. So this is a hardwired version. Then it's going to cost about double the price of this. Why? Because I got to wire it in. There's labor involved with it and it roughly costs double the price, which I think is a bargain. Why? Because your friend Junior is an idiot and did not get one that was wired in because I was being cheaper and they do the same thing. So I'm just going to get this one. We got about that much water in our campsite. I got a permanent site. Okay. Barely covered the tire. Didn't even get to the rim. Okay. This guy got wet. Now it wasn't a watchdog, okay, which is rebuildable by us and we do offer a lifetime warranty with it, but it fried my surge protector. So guess what? I don't know that a flooded unit is gonna be covered under warranty. So when mine got flooded, if I would have spent double the money, I would have been fine. So which one of these setups am I going to be going with? I'm going to go with the full hardwired one. Why? Because I already made the mistake once. So I'm going to have a tech install that. So if you're going to ask what my opinion on which one of these you should buy, it's going to be the hardwired one. Now, one other thing I want to touch base on for you generator guys. Okay. So we have this problem whenever we utilize a generator, there's no ground unless you're taking a grounding rod with you, spiking it in the ground and pounding it down each time. Okay. This guy here connects neutral and ground and tricks the surge protector into thinking there's a ground. So you can do it that way. If you were on in surge protector, no matter what, I want your new investment protected. You should spend the money at least on a surge protector to protect your camper, okay? I prefer going to something like this that's gonna protect all aspects of it and something like this that somebody can't come along here, take my nice pretty new surge protector home with them, um, and it's permanent mounted that can't get waterlogged like mine did. So that is my personal opinion. I think that's the correct direction. I'll have to watch the video, see which way it goes. And guys, make sure you comment down below so Eric pays for the install on this one. Um, I think if we probably get somewhere around, you know, like 500 comments that says Eric should pay for it, we might be able to get him to chip in for it. But guys, go ahead and let us know which one of these surge protectors you're going to be going with with your new camper. Have a great day. Bye.